restarting the computer. Look at the pictures carefully and follow the steps to start a computer. Step 1. Switch on the main power supply button. Step 1. Switch on the main power supply button. Step Switch on the power button on the UPS. 2. Switch on the power button on the UPS. Step 3. Switch on the power button on the CPU box. Step 3. Switch on the power button on the CPU box. Step 4. Switch no. a button on the monitor and wait until a screen appears. Step 4. Switch on the power button on the monitor. Now, when the screen appears, it means that the computer is ready for use. Desktop The screen that appears on starting a computer is called desktop. The small pictures on the desktop are called icons. The thin bar at the bottom of the desktop is called task. The button on the left of the task bar is the start button. Shutting down a computer. After completing your work on a computer, always remember to switch it. It means to shut down or turn off the computer. Step 1. Click Start button on the task bar. Step 2. Click Shut down button on the lower right corner. Step 3. Now, switch off the power button on the monitor. Step 4. Switch off the power button on the UPS. Step 5. Switch off the main power supply button. Remember, when you turn off a computer, the CPU shuts down itself. Do not switch off the power button on the CPU box. Do you know, switching off the main power supply button directly without shutting down the computer is harmful for the machine. Starting and closing a touchscreen computer To start a touchscreen computer like tablet, Press and hold the power button on the tablet. The opening screen of the tablet appears with some icons on it. To close it, again press and hold the power button. The inspiration at IT Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. Okay, dear students, I hope that each and every concept is clear to you. But still, if you are facing any type of problem or doubt, you can message me. Okay? Hello.